Hey guys, welcome to Philip's Garage. So today is an extension of our last video where we looked at a Mac Mini, a MacBook, and a MacBook Pro. Um, we're going to take the Mac Mini, and what we're going to do is going to put a GTX 974 gigabyte inside. Um, well, not inside, but and we're going to be chucking in a 974 gigabyte card. Um, it's going to take a Thunderbolt enclosure. We're using the Kidio. Um, it's not a cheap sort of avenue to go, but uh, it's still cheaper than buying a whole new machine that could probably um, set you back probably double or triple the price of what you're after. So the poorest performer in that video was the Mac Mini. Uh, you can check that out in our description. We're gonna look at uh, the eGPU movement in regards to pro apps and see, uh, is it worth it, is it not? Uh, is it for everyone? There is some fiddling to do, but uh, we'll run you through that at the end of the video. Okay, so now jumping into some of the synthetic benchmarks that we ran. Um, we ran a Luxmark 3, just like the previous test with the Luxball scene. Uh, the Mac Mini without the eGPU got a measly 2300. And then with just the 970, it actually got 8400. Um, in Cinebench R15, the OpenGL test, we had the Mac Mini run at 24.36 frames. And then with the 970, we got 66.53. Uh, on the Heaven benchmark, with, on the Extreme preset, the Mac Mini just got 4.6 frames and a score of 117. And then with the eGPU, it got 58.4 frames and a score of 1470. Uh, uh, looking at the percentages, uh, on the Luxmark, we had a 263% improvement. Uh, in Cinebench, we had 173% improvement. And then in Heaven, we had an 1150% improvement. Now to the real world, uh, we ran FCPX, Bruce X, we had the Mac Mini do it in a minute 45, and then with the eGPU in a minute, um, in DaVinci Resolve we graded effects and then we exported a 2 minute red 4K file to a H.264 1080p, uh, the Mac Mini done it in 8 minutes and 16, and the Mac Mini with the eGPU done it in 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Uh, moving on to Premiere Pro. Uh, we took a 2 minute ProRes 4K file, we exported it into a YouTube 1080p with some effects and some grading. The Mac Mini done it in 9 minutes and 58 seconds and the, the Mac Mini with the eGPU done it in 5 minutes and 48 seconds. Off to Photoshop, we took the 8K image that we have uh, and we have an action that's OpenCL based, uh, lots of blurs and image scaling. Uh, without the eGPU it done it in 6 minutes and 14 and then with it done it in 3 minutes and 32. Um, something that we couldn't run without the eGPU was Octane Render. So uh, it is a CUDA based app. So obviously the score was zero there. And then with the eGPU, we got a 77.8. Okay, now let's move on to the percentages. We had FCPX run at a 45% increase, DaVinci Resolve at 164%, Premiere Pro at 72%, Photoshop at 83%, and obviously Octane Render at 100%. So quickly looking at Resolve, we took a ProRes LT 4K file in a 1080p timeline. Uh, without the eGPU, it was doing 11 frames per second. With the eGPU, it ran at 23 frames per second. I think this is solely due to the bandwidth available in Thunderbolt. Uh, moving on, we put two TNR nodes uh, and we had uh, two frames per second for the Mac Mini. And then with the eGPU, it done 12 frames per second. Uh, 14 our nodes, the Mac Mini without the eGPU just couldn't get a single frame, and then with the eGPU we had 8. Okay, so moving on to the percentages of the improvements, we had 130% increase in the 1080p timeline, 500% uh, increase in the 2 TNR nodes, and an 800% increase in the 4 TNR nodes. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, is the eGPU worth it? I think so, but that's for you guys to assess from the benchmarks. The percentage of improvement to dollar, in my opinion, is is perfect. Um, you know, especially if you're running. Would I buy a Mac Mini and an eGPU? No. If I have a Mac Mini, would I buy an eGPU? I think the answer is yes. Um, it, the performance improvements are, are you know are, are fantastic, um, but you know there's other things to consider. Stability. We never came across any stability issues you might um, we have heard rumors of others that have um, you got always got to check out tech inferno i'll put the link down in the description uh, they probably 
at the forefront of eGPU um, discoveries. So you can just jump onto their forum and they can help. And if you need any help, you can just uh, leave a comment below and you know I'll definitely answer you and try and give you the best advice that I have. Um, until next time, thanks for watching.